It's time to talk pizza, Kara. Ooh, 350 slices of pizza are consumed every <laughs> second in the United States. And every year there are several pizza expos across the country. Better contributor Jillian Lopez attended one of them and has a scoop on what's trending in the pizza world. When you think of pizza, you think of cheese, sauce, dough. But now, ditch those traditional thoughts. There are dessert pizzas, fruit pizzas, potato pizzas, mini pizzas, pretty much anything your pizza-loving heart desires. Detroit-style pizza, grandma-style pizza. Regional pizzas have been around since some like, like the 50s and 60s are really becoming hot. You know, what's old is new again. You can't have pizza without crust, from deep dish to thin to gluten-free to cauliflower and even beer-infused dough. There's something for everyone. Pizza experts say Roman style is the craze right now. But the Roman pizza is something that is trending at, at epic proportions right now. This dough is very light, all airy, all puffy, and it has, it has a lot of water. We talk about 80% of water. We do a, um, a pre-fermented dough, and uh, we have an amazing result, and people in the U.S. start following a lot this, uh, this new wave of pizza. We all love to eat pizza, but what about the chefs that work hard to make the pizza? There's competitions around the world. Some even hold Guinness World Records. So I've won different world championships in Italy, in the U.S., and in Portugal. So I've gone around the world and won both cooking and pizza acrobatics. So over the years, I've been making pizzas for almost 30 years. And I've won 13 world titles, two Food Network gold medals, and I have four Guinness Book of World Records. Pizza and healthy are not typically used in the same sentence, but with recent trends, it's possible to stay on the lighter side while enjoying a slice or two. A lot of people tend to associate pizza with being unhealthy, so now, you know, we're all coming into a, a new health trend, so people like Vincent come up with great gluten-free pizza, um, you could do non-dairy cheese. I've seen like such a progression in the pizza world that even I will eat vegan cheese, and normally I would never touch vegan cheese, but it actually tastes good now. Pepperoni is voted the most popular topping for pizza, while anchovies are considered the least favorite. But no matter the toppings, pizza is a $37 billion industry. And I will leave you with this final thought. If you don't have a pizza dress, are you really a true pizza lover after all? <laughs> How cheesy, right? Jillian Lopez reporting for Better Connecticut.